All right, in this video, I'm gonna be installing and kind of going over the setup of the OS Speed four shoe clutch system on the new OS B2104. Including that clutch system is a four pin flywheel, 13 tooth clutch bell, two bearings for the clutch bell, a set of uh, four hard, four standard and four soft shoes. These are 1.0, 9.5, uh, the the clutch, all, clutch system also includes four standard aluminum shoes and four hard aluminum shoes. Um, some bearings for shimming, a crankshaft end screw for holding the whole setup together. It also comes with a collet and a washer that goes on the uh, end of the crankshaft. That's a, a really nice feature. Also with this kit, I'm installing the uh, two two pairs of or sorry, one pair of hard shoes, hard carbon shoes with hard springs and standard shoes with standard springs. Uh, those part numbers are 718-14330 and 718-14340. I like the easier maintenance with the carbon shoes. Um, aluminum shoes, usually they, they mushroom out. Um, they can start the edges of them when they mushroom out, they could start dragging on the inside of the bearing or inside the clutch bell. So I really like the uh, uh, carbons. So um, some things I didn't show on here is, and that I do on every clutch, does it regardless is, is I clean everything off. I wanna make sure any machine oil that's that was used uh, has been removed. So I, this Q-tip's kind of dirty. I ran it through the clutch nut I'm gonna use. I ran it uh, along the flywheel. The flywheel had some machine oil on it inside of the clutch bell. And then on the crankshaft, <clears throat> clean the threads. I'm just using a brake, brake cleaner and a microfiber uh, to clean. And then want to clean all the oil off the front of the bearing. If there's any oil on here, it'll get in your clutch. And then you're gonna have uh, wear issues where your clutch won't properly bed in and will be inconsistent. So that's, you wanna make sure you clean that up first. So for this build up, I'm using the, like I said, two hard shoes, two standard shoes, hard springs, standard springs, and then uh, in regards to the flywheel nut, there's two nuts that the kit comes with, a standard nut and a hard nut. This hard nut has a groove in it to indicate <coughs> that it's the uh, it's the hard nut. And what separates the two or differentiates them is the groove that the springs ride in. Uh, the standard sh clutch nut, the shoe, the uh, groove that the spring rides in is deeper, so it doesn't put as much tension on the spring and on the clutch shoe. So <coughs> that's why I'm going with the hard one. I want it to hit a little bit harder. And be at their, their aluminum shoe or carbon shoes, they'll already have a softer engagement. So that's the reason I'm going with that. I'm going to change the camera view um, as I assemble it. All right, I'm going to start uh, assembling the clutch. I've done some steps uh, already. So I've kind of got the springs set here in the shoes. The long end or the kind of curved end of the spring goes into the into the shoe and the short end is what's going to sit on the flywheel or oh, sorry on the clutch nut so I've uh, <clears throat> cleaned the crankshaft applied like a minuscule drop of thread locker where the collet rides and then on the threads so the first thing up is this uh, sp uh, kind of a spacer or a washer that goes on the crankshaft now this is for the OS setup other setups don't require it, but this is what's required because the how shallow the flywheel is. So that was clutch or the spacer, call it flywheel. The call it's now stuck in there. I'm using the clutch nut with the groove on it, the left one. We'll start that. But I have this uh, serpent tool, it's a flywheel holder. I'll crank down on that guy.
All right, so that guy, that is on there. It ain't moving. This engine has a ton of, t it's brand new, so it has a ton of pinch. So, so this shows you the orientation of the shoes, how they should be installed. And I'm going to offset, you know, cross install them. So it'll be a hard and then a soft. So that's one. And I'll try and get that better on camera. So you want to make sure that the spring is riding in the groove and not sitting above on the taper. Sitting in the groove. And then the last, last one, you kind of have to pull the other shoe off so you can get it started. Oh. So that's all four shoes. They're all, all the springs have clicked and are sitting in the groove on the clutch. So here I have the clutch bell. I'm gonna install it with, or check it first with nothing, with no, uh, no shims on the inside. And so it's riding. So I'll take one shim. Take a second shim. So what's happening is the clutch bell is hitting on the back of the flywheel. And that is not acceptable. It will uh, cause premature wear. Oh, put a bearing in there. So you see now it's not riding. It's not hitting it. That's three shims. I'm going to try to... Yep, two is good. 
So again, we'll put just a drop. <coughs> I mean, barely any on the nut or on the, sorry, on the screw and it's got a tapered shoulder or a, a big shoulder on it. So mm, doesn't really have much end play on it, but it does have play. You can see. Rotates smooth, it's not binding, it does have play. So that is the four shoe install. I'll show the rest of this engine and how I put it in the buggy or in the truggy and some of the things you need to look out for on the SRX8 serpent buggies and truggies. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, please uh Please ask them in the comment section and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you.